Tommy Davidson is an American actor and comedian. You may remember him as an original cast member on the sketch comedy TV show In Living Color. Since then, he's graced both TV and movie sets, and now he's here in Detroit for a weekend of laughs. He has a show at Punchline Comedy Club, but ahead of his performance, I had the chance to sit down with him and catch up. Take a look. Well, I can answer that. I had the chance to sit down with the one and only actor, comedian, and musician, Tommy Davidson. Hey, how you feeling? Really good. Really good. Uh-huh. I made it to today. Yes. Yeah. And you're in Detroit. How does it feel to be in Detroit? Oh, man, this is real. This is the thing here. This is the D here. You know, all, everyone that I know from here is like um, my, my, my people back in D.C. What you see is what you get. And Tommy says, while well, he's in Metro Detroit at Punchline Social, you should. Expect the unexpected, mm -hmm. you know? I can go from me to, to a guy named Obama. It happened very fast. Um, uh, the thing I like about Tommy Davidson is he's versatile like me. Um, some of the things that he, 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 he uh, says match the things I say. Uh, his, his hair is turning gray like Benson, like mine. Um, he can actually say things that, are, that, are, uh, that will sound important, and when push comes to shove, they're not important at all. Like uh, he can say, uh, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are great. Or they're not like us. <laughs> How do you maintain longevity in a business like this, in an industry like this that is so fast paced and ever changing, ever evolving? Love it. You know, love what you do. I don't love all the aspects of it, but who does? when it comes to a job. This is a job, this is one of the best jobs I've ever had. Did you ever think you would be here in your career, you would have done at all that you've done? No, I never thought that I'd be here, but I always wanted to be. Mm. So ever since I was a little kid, I was accepting my, um, my Grammy in my backyard and my, my Oscar in the backyard. And I always sang and I always loved movies and I always loved all of that stuff. I always love athletics. So I aspired to be here. I really wanted to, to, to be where I am. And when I say that, I say I really wanted to be a, in a place in my life where I can do whatever I want to do, mm. you know, and have the freedom to be myself. And that's finally came, I'm, I'm 60, it took that, but it took life. And you also talked about being at a point in your career where you can do other things. Mm -hmm. One of those things being music. Tell me about that journey. It, it came around. Music came around. It was yeah. finally time. I had to wait. I had to wait. Yeah. I had to wait through Eddie and party all the time. I had to wait through Jamie with Blame It On At, you know. And I couldn't come either way. Uh -huh. I had to come with, 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 with my style. Yeah. And I found it in Smooth Jazz. And so I'm on my fourth single. Mm -hmm. And the one that's coming out on my birthday is my birthday present to y'all. Because okay. I get to share what I've been given with the people that matter the most. It was so cool talking to him. He said the, um, his single comes out on November 10th. That's his birthday, and he's really into music. Oh, a little yeah, special. Like, I know, and love. I love all yeah. the references from the past. I know. And Murphy's great. I great know. to hear from yeah. him. You know, a guy who's been in the comedy business for so many years, he seemed like really down to earth, though. Did you get that from talking to him? No, he was him? incredibly down to earth. Yeah. He talked a little bit about fatherhood and just, you know, all the different facets of the journey, even getting into animation because he was the voice of Oscar Proud in the Proud family. Mm -hmm. So we talked about all types of things. Yeah, yeah. he was really cool. That was a really fun interview. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Sounds like a great guy. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Lauren.